the 3D systems um, offering the products that we see here behind you from the Engineering Technology Group. Last year, wasn't it, you started to offer these? Yeah, under yeah, the HK yeah, umbrella. yeah middle, middle of last year, yeah. So I'm um, uh, quick, quickly getting up to speed with them. Yeah, I mean, 3D printing is kind of the way forward within industry, isn't it, in a, in a lot of areas. What do these machines offer and what do they do? Well, it's quite a flooded market, obviously, the printing printing element. Um, there's a number of people out there that can can supply it. Um, 3D Systems is, is, is a household name, as we do with our with our Nakamura, because we only align ourselves with, with the best. Um, so basically, we've got the figure four units, and we, we start over on the right-hand side. That's the standalone unit. And what materials are we printing? So you've got a full range of, of, of materials, um, excluding metals. Um, there's a resin bath that sits in, sits in the bottom um, with a projector that sits over the top of that that basically cures that resin to formulate the part. So as the axis, call it an axis, is moving up, you're forming and printing the part as you go almost, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, that's so correct. It's so it's it. Yeah, so it's attached to the top tray there. Um, so if you base yourself on the, the standalone unit, standalone unit, is, it, it is that. The software becomes um, integral to the machine and, and, and the printer itself. The operator needs to pour that resin into the into the printer, um, and from that tray, it moves in the z-axis um, to formulate your your component. And then, how do you just you just snap the parts off? Do you once they once yeah. they're finished, or yes. once the cycle's finished? Yeah, it's exactly. Like five-axis machining, snap off. You get your you get your finished part. Um, there's curing processes for for different uh, for different materials. We have a curing bath to take away um, the extra extra materials. And then this. Is it more of an automated solution then as we move up the line, is it? Yeah, as you move up to the, to the modular unit, it is exactly what it says it is. It's a, it's a modular unit, you know, so the customer can start off with just that single machine. Um, we've got the PC there that, 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 that drives it. Um, we've got all, an automated refill bath in there. Um, it's got a higher Z-axis so we can print out multiple parts. Um, so it's not just one part. There's a there's a there's a, a layer in there that can produce different different range of parts. So you we you talk about this being a flooded market. What what then sets them apart? What makes the this particular machine you know better obviously than maybe yeah some of the uh, well with 3ds obviously you're getting the quality. Mm -hmm. um, you're getting the backup and service from a from a large um, company like us our, like ourselves. Um, but really it's this, the the speed of the unit. Um, to put this in comparison, if, if there's a demonstration that we run, um, if we're going to promote the live show at the end of, the end of February, um, where we can produce um, X amount of number of parts in, in 30 minutes compared to that single part in a standard printer could take up to three, four hours. Okay, now, so could you have an assembly of components then? You know, maybe a nut and a bolt and a, you know, yeah. all, all in a, all in a, in a tower almost. Yeah, yeah. And you, you can have snap a, them off as yeah, you. nut, nut, bolt, and washer. Um, basically, as the z-axis moves out from the, out from the bath, um, from the software that's obviously put into the machine, it would produce that 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 component. So yeah, you could have the nut, you could have the bolt, then you could have the washer, any any form of part, uh, a variation. Of, 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 of completely different components. You grow when you get out of the bath as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> um, important to note, live event. We are going to be hosting um, a live event here uh, from ETG. It's going to be around at the end of February. Date to be confirmed, but we're going to run that demonstration that Steve talks about where uh, it's going to produce um, and a, set, a group of parts, I suppose, in 34 minutes, I think, is yep, the cycle time. that's right, yeah. And we'll be inviting you to ask questions um, as well during that. Um, Steve, at the moment, we're in 2021 now, uh, these machines are readily available. If you sell these before that live event, you've got more that can come in. Um, but working in conjunction with some of the government schemes, this is a good opportunity to get your hands on one of these, as well as your commercial flexibility, of course, too. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly that. I mean, we've, we're, we're in a fortunate position where we can we can support customers, the right customers, if they if they need a handhold in, in getting 3D printing or extending to what they've already they've already got. Um, there's, there's offers out there, isn't there, from support from, from the government that basically you could have these, have these units for nothing at the minute. Couldn't ask for more. There you go. What an ending. Uh, talk to ETG, engtechgroup.com. You can find out more about 3D systems. Uh, and of course, don't forget to keep tuned to our channels for the live events coming um, at the end of February. And of course, if you can't wait till then, you can buy these, as Steve said. Uh, fantastic offers available from ETG. <laughs>